Okay, folks, this is going to be hummus, one of my favorite dishes. And of course, this hummus is going to be without any tahini because I really don't like the tahini in my hummus. So here's a recipe for hummus without any tahini or tahini or tahini. Sounds like a vacation place. Anyway, what I'm going to use here is... Um, Oh, uh, well, uh, organic gabonzo beans. I like the ones in the can that are already cooked. Of course, Trader Joe's is, you know, awesome. I love Trader Joe's. There we go. Now, what I do here is I take the beans and I dump them in there. And I rinse them off really good. Because uh, they will turn sour if you don't. So, I like to rinse them off and get all the juice out of them, you know, as much as possible. And there we have it. Pretty easy to do. Alright. Okay, next step. Here we go. Going to cut up some uh, little fresh uh, cilantro. A little fresh uh, parsley. Got to have fresh. And I love Up, put it up. Nice. Okay, anyway. I like to use fresh cilantro. It's really, really, really. I love it, I love it. I'll take the stems too. I don't care. I won't take all those stems. Uh, stems. Uh, we don't like stems that much. And chop it up a little bit. You don't have to chop it up really fine because. It's got to go in the Cuisinart, so I always like this. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You know, you hold your knife down here and just take the blade and chop. Fast way to chop. I really like it. So let's go ahead and put that in our Cuisinart. Now, the other thing I'm going to put into my hummus is uh, some... Jalapeno. 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 I like fresh jalapeno. Everything I like fresh, you know. So I'm just going to take a little bit like this and just a little bit and chop it up. That's about enough right there. You got to give that, you know, a little kick, you know. But uh, you can use cayenne pepper or you can use hot sauce, which, uh, I use both. Cayenne kind of pepper, uh, you know, I just don't happen to have any today, so I'm kind of improvising. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my, uh, my gabonzo beans there into here. And we'll add that in there. And it looks pretty good. And we'll go ahead and wipe this off here. And the other thing I'm going to add is lemon. Nice fresh half a lemon here. And I like a nice fresh lemon. So, you know, we squeeze it up. Mm. Boy, that makes my, makes my lips pucker. Already, man. Okay, there we go. So, half a lemon. Well, should do it there. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Now, gotta have salt. You know, salt gives it a lot of taste, a lot of flavor. So we put in a little salt. A little salt. I like a little salt. There we go. And wherever there's salt, there's pepper. So there you go, a little pepper. Bingo, bango. Okay, and now I'm going to just kind of give that a little pulse now, you know. I think I'll move my cutting board out of the way. I'm going to move this over here and so you can see it a little bit better, you know. And, and go ahead and give it a little pulse. Oh, that's good stuff, man. Uh, a spoon here. Oh, 
you could use a spatter, I guess, but you know, I like a little spoon. Give it a little, move it down a little bit, move it around. Okay, looks good. Now, uh, I do like a little uh, hot sauce, you know, I like whatever, you know, a little, uh, little hot sauce in there. You can use uh, red chili flakes if you want. Uh, yeah, anything to give it a little kick, you know? Okay. Now we're going to add the hummus. Or not the hummus. We are we're making hummus. This is uh, cumin. Cumin. And about a tablespoon should do it. You know, that's a good tablespoon there. I really don't measure too many things anymore. I kind of go by taste. And we'll mix that up a little bit. Now we've got a little oil. Get it going here, gel it out. Emulsification. There we go. And now the oil is in there. Starting to look pretty good. So, a little bit more oil until you get a nice consistency, you know. Don't like it too thick. That's uh, it's looking pretty good there. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. We'll see how it is here. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty. Mm. I think it needs a little more hot sauce. Give it a little kick. And I'm going to say it needs a little bit more cumin. Just a little bit more. About another uh, quarter of a teaspoon there. And, uh, you know, if you're uh, strapped for money and you don't want to use uh, oil, olive oil, I, use, I, I like to use uh, olive oil, 100% pure. Uh, I don't like the extra virgin because it turns it a little too green. But uh, if you're a little strapped on money and you don't want to use all this oil up, you can always add a little water to it to thin it out. So that's totally up to you. Uh, I've done it before when I've been low on cash. You know, make my hummus and put a little water in it. <laughs> That looks like it right there. Mmm, tasty. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. A real nice dish. Real easy to put together. And uh, one can yields uh, quite a bit. So, enjoy! Art Russell here. Thanks for looking at my videotape. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at arthur.russell at sbcglobal.net. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.